Hey guys, check out this cool bow tie I have. Pretty neat, huh? Nice and pink, pretty cool. What if I got a, what if I tell you this? It's not a bow tie at all. It's a regular tie that I tie like a bow tie. Look. See that? Pretty cool, right? Here's how you do it. First step is important. Well, first, let me say this. You can't just do this to any tie. This will automatically ruin any tie you do it with. Why? Because there's a lot of very tight creasing going on on the most important part of the tie. This is all creased up at this point because it's so tight there. So only do this with ties you don't care about anymore. There's a perfect way to add longevity to ties that you spilled, are frayed at the edges. Like this tie, see? I used to like this tie a lot, but look, see, it's getting frayed at the edges. That's too, I can't wear this anymore. What, am I throwing it away? No, I got a cute pink bow tie now. So, knowing that, here's how you start. First, you gotta get rid of the corner. So take it and put it through the loop. Just tighten it up a little bit so it's in there securely. Now this tie, I should point out, is about, it's pretty thick. I would call this a medium thick tie. There are thicker ties than this, but there's definitely thinner ties. This does work better with thinner ties. There's gonna be a, a big bow tie, as you, you saw already, already saw, but. Get it in there, as about, on just over the ridges, just over those. You want it in there so it's secure, but you want to you kind of massage it out so it's a little sp split up. You don't want to be fat. This will make it fat, you know, and you don't want to be too fat. So anyway, now you got a nice square. All right. Now let's get to work. Make this side about where, I don't know, my breast pocket is right here. So let's make it a little bit below the middle of the breast pocket. That's about where you want it. Now, this is like tying a regular bow tie. If you've seen that video, you know, check it out to review. But I'm tying this tie up here. Make sure that it, this dangles right down your button line. You want that to be centered, all right? And then go ahead and get rid of it. Now take this and put it in the center. You got the nice square. All right, you get that, bring that other one back and go over the, over the middle. Now this, Keep tighten this bottom one and then scrunch up the tie up. You see that's already bow tie happening right there. Now take both sides and pinch it forward. This is all, it's going to be very stiff because it's much thicker than normal. So it's, you have to work muscle a little bit more. Find a little hole and stick the little end in there. At this point, it doesn't matter how, how little end goes in because it's not important. All right, pull it out, but not all the way. Just pull it out a little bit. See, I got it dangling right here. All right, that's it. Now you're taking the back, uh, sorry, the front end of the back little end, see that? And that's where you pull. Now I'm gonna hold the middle and pull, and pull it, I'm gonna pull the hell out of it. I'm pulling it real tight, because you want this little part to get as thin as possible. When the little end's dangling too much out, when it's sticking out, use this side to pull that back in. All right, so like that. And that is, uh, I think that's pretty good, actually, what I just did. So I'm just gonna straighten it out and give it a little, you know, whatever. Put my collar down. Check it out. Nice little pink bow tie. Now what about this? Where does that stupid thing go? Well, unbutton your top button. Or not your top, your second top. And then stick it in there. I'm going to go in through the bottom and just tug it so it's straight. I'm just going to pull it down. There we go. And then button up your top button again. And it should be pretty hard to see. Uh, you could put it through your neck and down. So then it's really impossible to see. But I think that's pretty darn good right here. You can't really see anything. So there you go. It's a necktie tied into a bow tie. As you can see, all this really tighten, all the tightening, all the creases here, this tie can't be worn normally anymore. It's done. This is only for ties now. But you know, make a separate rack for your, you could throw them, it doesn't, it, the wrinkle, it doesn't matter how wrinkly it is, because bow ties are so wrinkly anyway. It doesn't matter. Just throw these on the floor in your closet. You know what I mean? If you ever need a bow tie, pick it up. It's a great place to store all your ties you don't want anymore. At least you don't think you want them until you really need a pink bow tie one day, and then you're ready, you know? So, then just, you know, along with vests to protect your ruined ties, you, you put a vest on to protect the, the stain, or you can use your stained ties to do this, because probably the stain is not going to be in this area. You know, there's a lot, very little ties exposed here. So, you know, I want your ties to go the distance. When you buy a tie, I want you to have it for a while. So, I hope this is helpful. Send me pictures of your efforts. I want to see what you guys got to come up with. Thanks a lot. Bye.